knowingly and unknowingly commit. But Mr. Speaker, for this case, I find these sins were committed intentionally, premeditated, and Mr. Speaker, that's why this House was abolished. You are now debating your statement. Once I thank you, you, Mr. Speaker. You finished reading your statement. That is the end of the matter. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, it's very painful to me. And, uh... Yes, uh, Patrick. The statement that I approved for you to present to the House, you have already done so. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I think sometimes in this House, we are representatives. And this is a political process. Mr. Speaker, today, this is a double wedge. Yesterday, Mr. Ichungwa was in and out of police stations. Today, maybe it's me. Let me tell you, uh, my colleagues in this house, the people we represent, we represent them for good or for bad. Mr. Speaker, for me, order, going to the side of the militia. Patrick Macau, order, take your seat. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Macau, I gave you permission to make a personal statement. I looked at the content of the statement. I approved it. And you have absolutely no authority to debate your own statement. Once you finish presenting it, it ends there. Next uh, member from Horoni. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for giving you the opportunity. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to Standing Order 442C. I rise to request for a statement from chair, for Chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock regarding the planned duty-free importation of male white stock brown sugar in the country until April 2024. Honorable Speaker, Kenya's sugar industry supports over 400,000 farmers and employs nearly over 8 million Kenyans directly and indirectly. However, the sector has faced acute deficits, making it difficult to satisfy the domestic demand. To this end, Kenya has been importing duty-free sugar under the East African Community Customs Management Act 2004 framework to satisfy domestic demand. To this end, the Cabinet Secretary for the National Treasury and Economic Planning via yeah. Gazette Notice Number 14093 of 6 October 2023 directed that 250,000 metric tons of male white stock brown sugar be imported duty-free in the country until April 2024 to bridge the shortage. The directive was triggered by a notification by the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock of, of sharp decline in local sugar production due to shortage of mature cane that caused closure of sugar mills in the western and Nyanza regions. Honorable Speaker, considering that this House recently approved various measures to revive the sugar sector in the country, duty-free importation of sugar in the country ought to be undertaken with caution. It is projected that revival of the sugar industry in the country will progressively meet domestic demand and produce surplus that could earn the country foreign exchange uh, through export. Honorable Speaker, it is against this background that I ask a statement from the Chairperson of the Departmental Committee of Agriculture and Livestock on the matter. In the statement, the Chairperson should, one, provide a report on the volume of duty-free sugar that has been imported into the country since the beginning of the year 2023, and details of companies that imported duty-free sugar into the country within the stated period, including the directors of the named companies. Two, provide details of the companies that have been authorized to import the newly gazetted 250,000 metric tons of sugar duty-free into the country, including the directors and the, 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 the directors of the very companies. Three, explain the measures that the relevant ministries are put in place in ensure that importation of duty-free sugar into the country does not slow down revival of the, of the, the, of the country's sugar